Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2204, where we have 20 moves to collect 2 popcorn, 10 frosting, 20 licorice, and reach 25,000 points. So here are the popcorn. They're going to be tough to reach to strike. Um, and then we've got the licorice. Those are tough too, but we've got more dispensers. And then we don't have any frosting on the board, but we do have this spawner. So presumably that's where we're going to get our frosting. We also have these uh, question mark dispensers. Now I see right away this is a relatively lucky board here. I can draw things down from this dispenser and make a color bomb at the same time. So that feels relatively lucky to me. But I would, can always take a lucky board and make some really bad moves and destroy the luck. So I'm going to work on trying to make some good moves. The good move I'm trying to go for right now is drawing more of these uh, this column of question marks down hoping to get at least one question mark that can help me. That hasn't happened yet. Okay, so I have one question mark. I'm going to lift this up. I have a lot of blue here and I'm hoping the blue will work into something. Ooh, stripe draft combo. This I don't see getting down here. I can bring it down one. I'm going to go for the stripe drop combo. It's going to open this up. It's going to take some of these out. It's going to strike here. It's also going to take this out, which will then take out a color and concentrate everything else. I think this is a good plan. Oh, and I think I'm going to get this popcorn once too. Yeah, that was a good plan. Hate to sacrifice that color bomb, but oh, I have another opportunity for a color bomb. Sure, it's going to take off right away, but again, color bombs, we get color bombs and other specials. I'm striking this a lot, and I don't mean to, so I have to be very careful not to hit that too often. Let's put the question mark on the rails here. If this ends up being something like a popcorn, which would be wonderful because I need to collect two popcorn, that would reduce the number I need to collect, then if I open it up here it's a popcorn that I have to open up, but if I open it up here it becomes right away a um, color bomb and it gives me the credit for it. It didn't happen, but that's one of the reasons I like to open things up on the rails. Okay, so now we're getting some of this frosting happening here for us. Um, but I still need to get more question marks, I think, on the board. I need something big and volatile to happen. I could try to fill the frog this way, but I'm moving him off the rails, and I don't like that idea. I'm going to do this, take out more of this frosting. Now how much frosting do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have all the frosting on the board I need. Now's the time to take this out while hitting that popcorn and getting rid of more of these licorice. How do I get that popcorn? I need that popcorn popped. Well, taking this out isn't a bad thing to do while I'm trying to get the popcorn popped because it's helping me to take out the licorice and then, oh, it has a nice percussive force. I want this to drop down one before I set it off. There we go. So that's how I beat 2204. This was my second playthrough. Let me tell you that on my first playthrough, I did miserably. Uh, there are two main factors I think that really helped me this time. One is I knew what I was doing and I knew where I needed to aim. Uh, the first time I didn't even ever get the covering off of um, the, licor the licorice cage off of this, the spawner because I wasn't focused on trying to capture the frosting. But then of course the other thing is I got some luck. Now I got a color bomb right away. Did I end up using that color bomb directly? No. But still, I had a relatively lucky board on my second playthrough. Uh, you can increase your luck by bringing in boosters to help you. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.